it's your boy Poet. It is Thursday. I'm out here in downtown Fresno and I am at the Art Hub. Let's go check this out, everybody. Actually, a few minutes early, but to be honest, I'm still getting that good vibe. When it comes to end up seeing all the stuff, you end up getting the food trucks, the people, the stuff that people are selling, their crafts, their art. It's awesome out here. The, the vibe out here is unbelievable. Uh, people are having a good time, even though it's hot, still having a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go check out the Mason Kebab. They said right now they're doing a live art show. This is Brandy. How you doing? Great. All right. So tell me what you love about the Art Hub. I love the community. I love the people. I love getting out after a year of being stuck in quarantine and just seeing everybody and seeing everybody's creativity. I love I love the galleries a lot. Um, yeah, I just love seeing everybody's creativity and what they come up with. And what is the thing that you ended up purchasing today at the Art Hub? This is my secret book club. It was five dollars. It's a fiction. It says sparkling and glamorous, intimate and sensual. I don't know what I'm in for, but I'm excited to find out. My name is Marcus. Marcus. So Marcus, tell me what you love about the Art Hub. Uh, like, I, I love all the art involved here. Um, uh, everything that everyone brings here. Uh, just showing everyone's creativity. And I just like seeing all the diversity and all the variety of things that you can find here. And what did you end up purchasing from the Art Hub today? Uh, I went to the Secret Book Club, got this graphic novel. It says science fiction, post-apocalyptic, sounds exciting, so we gotta give that a try. Then it was just about that time I got hungry, so I hit this little truck called Gonzales Tacaria. And like I mentioned, it was hot outside, so I had to find a place to sit and chill and eat my food, so I ended up hitting up Frank's place. Sat in a little spot and enjoyed a live band.
try the rolling donut. ended up asking you how did you ended up starting uh, the rolling donut how did that come about well it wasn't originally my plan mm -hmm. my plan to be honest was to do uh, Texas style barbecue and after doing some research and talking to my daughter which she worked at an event center in New Mexico um, the food cost for a barbecue truck versus the food cost for and the overhead for this dessert truck was it was a no-brainer. And then doing my research in Fresno, there's not a whole lot of dessert trucks. So that's the reason we decided to go with the, the donuts over the barbecue. And what was the what was the the first one that you started off by with the first flavored donut? Which one was it? Honestly, we started out with about 15 different flavors. All of our classic flavors, the the regular glaze, chocolate, strawberry, maple, cinnamon sugar, powdered sugar, and uh, we've eliminated a few, and we've added we've added uh, six or seven new ones, and uh, we've we've had the same menu now for probably the last two years, uh -huh. and we've been in we've been doing this for just a little over three years now. Ended up describing it, it kind of sounded like a um, like a like an ice ice cream par parlor, but donut wise. Donuts, yeah, exactly. Uh, I wished I would have designed the trailer different so we could do ice cream and donuts because they go together so well. So well, uh, I agree. But I didn't, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. And uh, so. The time will come. The time yeah, will yeah. come. It, it may. Just takes patience. Yes. It takes a lot of patience. I mean, it's, it's been good. So, That's and to be honest, our very, our very first event was our top. Uh, three, a little over three years ago. We, we feel a lot of loyalty towards Fulton Street Coffee, and I, I, I originally we were gonna be down the street with Street Eats, and then he asked us if we'd come down here. And had I known, I would've just done it with Fulton Street. Hey, wherever there's coffee, donuts. there's donuts, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. yeah. yeah, very true. What is it that you love about the Art Hub? Uh, the people, everybody is so nice downtown. And, and downtown gets a bad reputation. Uh, we've never had any issues down here. We have a blast. Everybody is always super nice. Hey, I described the R Hop. I said if you were to end up getting the Fresno Fair, cut it in half, forget the rides, but go look at the art and the, and the vendors and stuff that they're selling. It's almost similar to that. And even with the food right there as well, like you have a good variety. Exactly. Yes, that's so true. That's so true. But this one is different. It's donuts. <laughs> Of us doing donuts, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Likewise, you thank you, ladies, and you guys are so beautiful tonight. So, I just ended up getting some donuts from the Rolling Donut. Much love and respect to them, and I just heard their story, but check this out strawberry donuts, baby. You can't get it anywhere else but the Rolling Donut. This is the real deal. This is the locals. Can't get better than this, so let's go.
Yeah, what is it that you do? Uh, I have everything posted. You know, I have pictures and descriptions of everything. Mm -hmm. um, they can set up Reiki sessions with me through there. Um, they get asked where I'm going to be selling because I kind of jump around. I'm at, I'm at Sunnyside Swap Meet, uh, Cherry Auction. I sell in Hanford and Art Hops and a bunch of different places. Uh, mostly it's about like what crystal they got. So they'll, they'll buy it and like a day later they'll send me a picture. Hey, what was this again? And I'll text them back. Like it was this, it was that. And then they can see all my, all my, uh, all the, all the items I sell there as well. You said that you also do giveaways every, yeah, all my giveaways every month. Yeah, I do. I do a free giveaway every month. Um, I ship it to you for free. No charge. All right. There you and, go. And, uh, actually, uh, for my birthday in May, I gave away a lapis lazuli tower, sphere, and heart set as a giveaway. So I do really nice things. What is actually the main thing that actually sells the most in your shop? Uh, dresses and shirts, like this type of shirt, uh, embroidery, uh, clothing, and jewelry. But I think the embroidery clothing is the one that sells the most. I have an Instagram and a Facebook at Kesali Shop, um, and Kesali Shop 7 at Instagram and Facebook, and then I can order anything you want and mm -hmm. I can ship it to you. So what can you tell me so far that you like about the art hop? So far. Oh, it's, it's pretty nice. So many different food vendors. I love it. I have been I'm I live in, in Madera and I haven't seen anything like this over there, so Wow. I, I love it. Their their merchandise yeah. and that um, the community is able to appreciate it. There you go. And if you were to end up going to um, a specific vendor to get food. Which one will it be right now at this point? Taco. Taco spot. So I choose it would be the Gonzalez Taqueria right down there. I haven't seen any other tacos. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend it. Their tacos are actually really good. Um, did a review on their burrito. Awesome. So I would highly recommend that if you do get a chance. I will definitely check it out.